How badly do you want the partner in your life to be the right guy? I mean, you love this person, right? But yet, for some reason, something is not exactly right. Like, why do you go to the restaurant and for some reason you feel like he's treating the waitress better than he's ever treated you before and he seems to be nicer to her? Or you go out somewhere, maybe to a club or you're going to the beach or wherever you go and for some reason he just seems to be checking out all the other babes all the time and it leaves you feeling insecure. So how is it that we can figure out how to get the person in our life to treat us the way we want to be treated? That's the question. How do we get that person to treat us the way we want to be treated. You know, a lot of this has to do with the word boundaries, boundaries of your own. So many times we get caught up in trying to be the nice wife or the nice girlfriend, and we get caught in this space of not verbalizing how we really feel. We get caught up in a place where we're feeling like if we say something, we might have conflict, which we try to avoid. Or maybe if we say too much, we could chase them away and that's not what we want. Could it be that you have confused and conflicted information in your mind about what true boundaries are? Could it be that possibly you either swing far to the right with no boundaries, which means the sky's the limit and you don't even verbalize at all how you feel, or you can pendulum swing to the other side and the other side is where you've got too big of boundaries and you might actually be uh, coming across as controlling or actually you just don't know how to relay the way you feel inside and the things you want to relay to help make the relationship better for both of you. See, these are the things that really I see so many people go through, so many women. As you probably know, I'm a hairdresser, been a hairdresser for over 30 years, and frankly at this point, I've heard so many stories from so many women that I find it imperative, it's compelling to really discuss this matter with women. I know that we look for, hopefully, you either are with someone or you're looking for someone that on one side is a really nice person. We want to have a nice person, right? We don't want somebody that's going to be mean and controlling and, you know, take away all of our self-worth. Instead, um, we're caught because we don't really know how much to say, how much to establish in the relationship and how soon. We seem to get all confused in our minds about how to still flourish in the midst of a relationship and have it be healthy and have you be happy. And the thing is you deserve to be happy in the midst of a relationship. Honestly, it's something that so many women tend to stuff down or put into a box and they start thinking maybe I don't deserve to be happy or maybe my mind is the one that's wrong or maybe what's happening is I'm, I'm, I'm not nice enough, I'm not kind enough, I don't make enough dinners, I don't, I don't act like the hot girl enough. Whatever is in your mind, these things can truly be worked through to the point where you can have the relationship that you want. So, Picking through all of this is not exactly something you can do on your own unless you have someone help you. Whether it be books, um, whether it be counseling, whether it be coaches. I personally went through um, a number of years of counseling and I also read probably well over 500 books to get my balance. I did this almost 20 years ago. I did it for a few reasons. Number one, I wanted to raise my kids in an environment that was really healthy and I needed to figure out what that meant. The other reason why was because I did, as a hairdresser, have so many women talking to me 
I didn't want to give advice that was wrong or that wasn't helpful or for heaven's sakes that wasn't a healthy um, answer for them. I needed to understand what a healthy relationship looked like. I needed to know how to get and obtain a healthy relationship. And I also needed to know how to be completely myself in the midst of a relationship because changing gets you into your head and um, when it's uh, you're changing for someone else and it kind of gets you out of your heart space, which is what you really kind of need to be in. So in order to be happy in a healthy relationship, whether you're looking for one, whether you're dating or already with someone, there is in fact formulas to get to that place where you really do find out and learn how to have a relationship that is very satisfactory to you and the person you're with. So consider just for a few minutes in your relationship, if you were to write a list of things that you cannot live with and things that really bother you, and then you have another list of things that you really love. Now, this is not about the current person you're with. This is just you in general. Just write a complete list of veto issues, things that you know for sure you can't live with. And then also, write on the other part of the paper things that you must have in a relationship. It could be things like respect, um, conversation, um, doing things together on occasion, Maybe you both are interested in a hobby together or something. Whatever is on the other side of your list. That's the beginning of understanding what it is you really want. Just the beginning. There's so much more. But if you've never sat down and actually wrote out a list of your veto issues, the things that you know that you can't live with, um, whether it be you don't like somebody that hides money or you can't handle somebody that's always secretive, or maybe you know you can't live with somebody that's always risk-taking and it involves you because maybe they risk-take in a car. Who knows what it is? You know what it is. You know what you must have and what is absolutely something you can't live with. Try writing that down and take a long look at that list. It might be very helpful for you. Just the beginning, I'll be doing more of these videos, but I just wanted to make some suggestions. So bottom line is, you can have the relationship that you want, truly. You just have to figure out how to have that relationship. So I'll be helping through uh, out these videos and try to get you to a journey of where you can actually have the relationship you're looking for. And I hope that this helps. I'm looking forward to talking to you more and more. If you by chance have any comments, I would absolutely love um, to have you write comments on the bottom of uh, in, the, in the comments below in the Facebook. And please do look um, for me in um, Hair Chair Confessions. That's where my website is, hairchairconfessions.com. And also look for me. You can email me at karen at hairchairconfessions.com. And I look forward to uh, hearing from you soon. Take care.